been doing a bit of welding with my new Thermalark inverter welder, uh, and it's very good, it's a, it's a superb piece of equipment. Uh, what I discovered though, um, when trying to weld together uh, two pieces of 10mm um, steel plate, uh, it's all a little bit too much for the 13-amp um, uh, fuse in the plug, and it was dropping out about, uh, about every minute or so. It's probably just over the 13 amps. I've bought uh, a 16 amp C-form industrial socket and uh, a matching plug. I'm going to mount that socket on the wall and wire it into a 16 amp breaker in the fuse board and hopefully that should alleviate the problem. So this is what we've got at the moment, this cable over here that you can see, this black steel wire armour with the earth wire cable tied onto it, uh, comes from the house which is adjacent to the barn here. Now when I first came here there was some god awful Frankenstein type fuse board here which I've got rid of and the first thing I installed in the line uh, was this double pole switch so that I could completely isolate the barn uh, from that cable and then I used a couple of meter tails to go into this um, garage type fuse board and that has a 63 amp RCD uh, and various MCBs in it uh, but I'll whip the cover off there and uh, see what's available and uh, and then I'll be able to mount a 16 amp socket I've got a 20 amp uh, double pole switch which I'm going to put uh, just above the socket uh, these are pretty easy to wire as you can see it says supply on one side load on the other uh, live and neutral uh, fairly self explanatory so I'm going to mount that directly above the socket, put that like that. This um, socket came with this blank which I've drilled a hole in, uh, screwed into the back of it there, it's threaded in the back. So what I'm going to do is pop that in from the other side from the socket back box and screw it into there and that will hold the two fittings together. Got the switch and the socket fixed together uh, and I've wired it up now. Uh, I've used some 2.5 twin earth and as you can see it comes in through this compression gland at the back. That's not the um, exactly the right um, gland for the job but it's absolutely fine. It's holding the cable tight and it'll keep any dirt out. And that just goes into the back of the socket there. So I'm going to screw that to the wall, put the covers back on uh, and then terminate the end of the cable. That's a 16 amp socket mounted and I've wired it into the fuse board. I've deliberately not shown the uh, the wiring into the fuse board uh, because I think, uh, well, either you know how to do that uh, or, or you don't. And if you don't, um, I might respectfully suggest that um, my video about putting a welding socket in the wall um, probably isn't the first place to, um, to start learning about it. Uh, so all that leaves now is to put a 16 amp connector on my welder and spark it up. Well hopefully that will be an end to uh, my problems with the welder cutting out. It's worth saying at this stage that I'm not a qualified electrician and the way that I've done this is the way that I've chosen to do it. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the correct way of doing it and if you're in any doubt uh, about installing electrics of any kind then do consult a, a qualified electrician. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel uh, and write a comment. Uh, all comments are gratefully appreciated, uh, whether they're good or bad. Thanks very much.